um, expert. This is for Josie and Ryan. If you'd like to get your stools, you're necessary for this. Uh, now, in this game, uh, Josie is an interviewer, and she'll be interviewing Ryan. Uh, but uh, Ryan will be an expert on some topic. What would you like Ryan to be an expert about? What? No, what was that one in the back? Watermelons. Watermelons. All right. So, watermelons. So, expert on watermelons. Where you go, Josie. Hello and welcome to Let's Find Out. Today we have a wonderful expert with us all the way from America. Do you fancy something juicy? Well, let's talk to Mr. Quelch. Mr. Quelch, you've been working with watermelons for many years now. Why, why do you find them so fascinating? Well, they're big. Big and, big and juicy, you know what I'm saying? It's, yes. uh, it's probably one of the biggest fruits or vegetables. Or, I'm not really sure if it's a fruit or a vegetable. <laughs> but they're big, and when you cut them open, you can, you can see things. Why, once I saw the, a vision of Christ inside a watermelon, it was just, <laughs> the seeds were eyes. Oh, you never know yes, what you're going to yes, find. Um, now, pips. 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 You always have to spit out the stones, don't you? It's such seeds a juicy is what level. we call them. Seeds. Oh, <laughs> pips. Stones. I don't know where you get that. Seeds is what they're called, and they've been called that since the early Americans. The Indians. <laughs> yes, um, now, when was the first time you saw your first melon? Well, I was a young boy in private school. The nuns used to bring them in to tease us with them, you know? <laughs> Finish your work or you'll have this up here, you know what? <laughs> okay, listen, uh, thank you very much, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, right here. <laughs> yes. Well... And that's part of a series of improvisations called Fun with Watermelons. Uh, now we come